<laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, uh, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? Get them folks their drinks now.
Nah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Drink Go up, serve motherfucker. Them old folks. So, do they have a suspect? Now, the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the colors. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city, no, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine, a dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear to Remy. Right. Mind your place, boy. Sean who killed Remy, he's gonna wish he was dead. <clears throat> Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. I mean, every yeah, last goddamn thing is gone. Yeah, you, with the bottle. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain wide pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Out in the middle of the night, draped in bed sheets and hollering. I appreciate all of the pageantry, but something about the whole seems so tacky. It's all right. I guess. He's resting with Jesus now. Hey. I've never actually seen a nephew here. either. I hear there's some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well. Let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Got that? It's nice seeing you. Get over here with that bottle, man. My condolences. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. I put them right in the trash. I said, honey, nice if I'm you. going to spend my hard-earned money on a vacation, I want to go somewhere with the civilized language. So, we're going to visit her folks in Hartford again. Right. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. 
You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. Amen. Yeah. Damn straight. Think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just. <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him. We're all connected. See yet Sunday mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yes. These people are out of their minds. Yeah, I see Remy. Oh, no. Something's Wait. wrong. Oh. Get me out of here I now. Remy. Yes, ma'am. I want additional me. men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of. <laughs> For Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening down to Garmo. Garmo. They have me out in a building. Down by the water. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble.
Going, I need supplies. Going at you. Hang tight. Hit and run requested. Frisco Fields. You got it. <laughs> nah. I ain't asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land? Hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Oh, okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Get on down! Now! Oh, God. He's dead. Christ! My hand is ruined! Oh, I barely man. even knew Remy! That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes.
Good morning, Miss Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? I did it myself. Ear to ear, just like you wanted. Good boy. Leave us alone. I got business to discuss. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. Si, certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. It brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No, I do not drink. Georgie, tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger is causing you problem. That you wish to discuss a deal between the two of us? I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all set. Now the rights to the land are all tied up. It's a goddamn mess. You won my money. I'm gonna need enough to pay for all the blood-sucking lawyers, and that's not cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words, please. I want your money. This is good. I will bring you the money. And in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only thing that you... You also wish for me to kill the nigger? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every... Now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe, Justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I'm expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit, and I won't accept anything else. I'm gonna ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. 
Why should I give a damn about the concerns of this motherfucker or that motherfucker? Lincoln, I want this turf. And I don't give a shit whose panties get all knotted up over it. You can't make decisions based on emotionally unstable cocksuckers like Burke. And you proved that by having me lock down a racket here for you. Don't lose sight of that now. You got one more ranged in the chamber. Make the right choice. I hope we can get things back on track, Burke. But we're not going to do it with this part of the city. Vito's going to call the shots there. What a sad, miserable fool I am for ever believing in you. But there will be no more of my foolishness. The next time I see your black hide, it will be at the end of my goddamn gun. That Mick ain't got nothing on me. You want to see what pissed off really looks like, motherfucker? Keep fucking with me, wasting my time. The Mick is going to be a problem. Until he ain't. Understand? If Bert can't fall in line, ride things out when they don't go his way, then he's not the partner we need. I'll deal with him. 